This is Amy Chapman for 12 Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Growing Up Guide Pup. This week, Pilaf took a huge step forward in her guide dog puppy training. She rode public transportation for the very first time. Now, it's really important for Pilaf to be comfortable riding any type of public transportation. If she becomes an active guide dog, her and her partner will be relying on public transportation because a visually impaired person can't drive. This point was proven right as we got to the station. We were barely out of the car when we saw an active guide dog team leaving the station. For Pilaf's first outing on public transportation, we decided to try riding a BART train. Now BART stands for Bay Area Rapid Transit. It's an electric rail system that takes people throughout the Bay Area. Our first stop at the station was to go ahead and buy our tickets. Now this is a very first for Pilaf to stand still while I'm at a machine and punching in numbers and having a lot of activity around her and she handled this really well. This is also the first time Pilaf has been exposed to turnstiles. She wasn't hesitant and she didn't balk at it and she walked right through without any problems. Now because Pilaf is a puppy in training, we're not allowed to take her on the escalator. That's gonna be trained once she goes back to the guide dog through line campus. So our options were to take the elevator and the stairs. We thought we'd give the stairs a try. And now go. Once we reached the boarding area, we had a little bit of a wait for our train. And I decided to keep Pilaf as far away from the track as I possibly could, and we found a place to sit. Now the BART trains are not exactly quiet, and they can be very frightening for a dog who has sensitivities like Pilaf. But she seemed to handle it really well. She wasn't frightened by any of the noise or any of the movement of the train. When it was time for us to board our train, Pilaf showed no hesitation getting up when I said, let's go. She boarded the train with confidence and lucky for us, we found an empty seat because all the seats were empty. We went midday when not a whole lot of people are riding the train and we had a whole car to ourselves, which was fabulous so Pilaf can get comfortable and not have a whole lot of commotion on the train. Now Pilaf needed a little help getting seated in the proper position that I wanted her to lay in while we were riding the train. But once she got in position, she stayed there really well. She seemed calm, relaxed, and pretty comfortable to the point where she laid down and even rolled over on her side and pretty much enjoyed the ride without much of a commotion. Now to make sure we didn't overwhelm Pilaf, we only rode the train for one stop and got off and decided to give her a little bit of break before we headed back on the next train. This gave Pilaf another opportunity to watch another train just kind of pull into the station and then leave and basically get comfortable with the surroundings of being in a station like this one. So we thought watching a train or two wouldn't be such a big deal. And then when we were ready to go, we hopped on a train and headed back home. This turned out to be a pretty good trip for Pilaf. And maybe next time we'll go for a little bit longer trip. And we don't want to push it. We want to keep it nice and short and sweet and very positive for her. So if you've been following the series both this season and last season, you know that we have a few extra family members in our house. This week, sadly, we lost one of our members of our family. That was our kitty cat, Faith, and she actually played a very important role in training our puppies. She was a type of cat that always wanted attention, and it didn't matter who was around her, whether it be the other cats, or one of the puppies, or the dogs. She wanted to be in my lap. And, well, the puppies would always come up and check her out, and she was really good about letting them sniff her, and if they went too far, she would let them know. If you saw season one, week 12, we showed you how Ricky behaved with our cats. And while well, Faith is the kitty cat sitting in my lap, and she was very tolerant of Ricky giving her kisses and overall giving attention from her, and she really played an important role in teaching Ricky how to behave with all the cats in the house. Well, Faith really helped us out with Pilaf too. Once again, Faith would sit in my lap and allow Pilaf to come sniff her and lick her and really figure out what cats were and how to behave around them. Sadly, we're really gonna miss this member of our family. Faith played a vitally important role in training all of our puppies on how to behave around all cats. She will be greatly missed by every member of our family. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.